Imra'a the Fir'aun, the wife of Fir'aun. He is Asya bin Muzahim, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Later on he says, not many women became complete and only four women became complete. And that's four women that became complete are Khadija bint Khuwaylid, Fatima bint Muhammad, Maryam bint Imran, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Add to that Asya bint Muzahim. In Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam praised her. In Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said she's a complete woman. She's a good woman. She's a righteous woman. She's a pious woman. For that reason Allah azza wa jal makes mention of her in the Quran al-Kareem. إِذْ قَالَتْ رَبِّ بْنِ لِي عِنْدَكَ بَيْتًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ Oh Allah build, oh Allah build for me a house near you in the paradise. وَنَجِّنِي مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَعَمَلِهِ and protect me and save me from Fir'aun and his dirty actions. And protect me from the oppressive people. Protect me from the oppressive people. The story is that Fir'aun continued to torture her. He continued to torment her. He continued to persecute her. And he commanded his soldiers to crucify her. And for them to nail the nails in her hands. And for them to leave her under the sun in the middle of the desert. And every time Fir'aun will command his soldiers to go and question her and ask her, Who is your Lord? And she'll say, My Lord is the Lord of Musa, la ilaha illahu. There is no God except him. So they continue to torture her and torture her and torture her. And then Fir'aun will say to his soldiers, Go and ask her. If she believes in me, then let go of her. And if she doesn't believe in me, then continue to torture her. So they'll go back to her and ask her, Who do you believe in? She'll say, I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of Musa and the Lord of Fir'aun. So they'll continue to torture her and torture her and torture her. That the narration says that during the day when she's under the hot blazing sun, the angels will come and shade her with their own wings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to protect her. Allah azza wa jal wanted to honor her. And the greatest honor is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made her see her palace in the paradise while she's on earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unveiled for her to see her palace in the paradise while she is being crucified. And that's the moment that Fir'aun told his soldiers that last and final time, go and ask her, who does she worship? If she worships me, then let go of her. And if she worships anyone beside me, then kill her. So that's the moment that they came to her, bringing a massive rock to crack it on her head. And that's when she said, Rabbi ibni li indaka baytan fil jannah. Oh Allah, build and establish for me a house that's near you in the paradise. Not any house, but I want that house to be near you, Allah. I want that house to be close to you. I want to be your neighbor, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And that's why the scholars say she chose the neighbor before the house. She chose the neighbor before the house. And the neighbor that she chose is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbi ibni li indaka baytan fil jannah. Oh Allah, establish for me a house in your paradise. But it must be near you, Allah. It must be close to you. Wa najini min fir'aun wa amali. And protect me and save me from fir'aun and his dirty actions. وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And protect me from the oppressive people. Protect me from the people of Fir'aun. So Allah Azza wa Jal made his sea, her house and palace in the paradise. While she's on earth, and that's when the soldiers of Fir'aun killed her, and it was her destiny. And final decree is that she ends up in the paradise. As the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that not many women were complete, and only four women were complete, and amongst those four women, is Asya bint Musahim, Rahimahallah, wa radiyallahu ta'ala anha.